grab your digital devices and get ready. We are about to make you more familiar with every piece of your digital storage, every tool on your devices and we will also clear out everything non-essential. And it will make your life so much easier, I promise. Are you ready? If the answer is no, let me just say this one thing. The sooner you do it, the easier and faster you will get it done and it will save you so much time in the long run. Hello and welcome back to step 2 of the Upside Plan, Digital Declutter, take 2. You may disagree, but for me, the laptop is my centerpiece. If this is a mess, everything is a mess. It is the hub which connects to my phone, other devices, USB sticks, hard disks, basically everything. So this is where I study on, work on, set up my systems and organize almost everything. Therefore, I would recommend you to start with your centerpiece and work from there to the smaller devices because this gives you a better overview on everything you have and you will also recognize duplicates easier if you want to sort out through those things. First device, laptop. In my case, the centerpiece. First, go through your apps and programs and only keep what you actually use. Don't forget, you can always download them again if you need them unexpectedly once more. No problem. Secondly, also clear your shortcuts. Three, go through your mails. So go through your inbox and every other folder you may have set up and delete every mail you don't need any longer. Please, unsubscribe from your spam mail first before you delete it. If you get too many of those and you can partly not even unsubscribe any longer, consider to just delete the whole mail address, especially if it was a designated spam mail. Maybe it's time for a new one. But about setting up mails and also a way to, a way to categorize them, I will talk in step three. If you're curious, stay tuned. Then, fourth, on your laptop, go through all the folders, subfolders, and basically every single file. I know it's gonna take some time, but it's worth it. So go through them and only keep what's important to you. What I do could maybe also be helpful for you. I don't have all the files on my laptop. I only have the ones I frequently use on that. And on my backup, I have more documents from like, I don't know, two, three, five years ago, which I know they are important, which I know they are important, but I don't wanna have them on my laptop. Could be interesting for you as well. And one more add-on, if you haven't done it, this would also maybe be a good time to digitalize your documents and now sort them in those folders you have just sorted out because now you know what's on there and you can complement with the documents you have in paper form. So that could be a good chance because now it's fresh on your mind. Second kind of devices, everything with storage potential like hard disk, USB sticks, you know what I mean. So basically delete everything which is double, which you now recognize easily and then merge everything into the folders on your computer. After that, you can also erase or reset those individual devices just to really utilize the full storage because sometimes even if you delete it, you have a lot of storage um, used which you don't use. So this would also be a good chance to just reset those individual um, devices. Then within those devices, if you use your hard disk as a backup, like many people do, um, go only through those folders which you cannot easily replace with the ones you have sorted through on your laptop. So the ones which are additionally there. Go through them like you did it on your laptop, every folder, subfolder, every file, and then see if you want to merge it with the documents on your computer or if you want to have them as additional documents in case you need them because you don't need them as frequently as the others. And then make sure that you save everything from your laptop on that backup storage as well. Third device. Here I would also start with apps and delete the ones you don't use at all. With the ones you use very rarely, like I don't know, once every four months, you can decide. Either it's worth the storage and you keep it on your phone or you say, oh, okay, I don't want to have it on my phone, I just download it again. That's what I personally do, but I can understand if it's not worth the effort for you. It may also depend on how much storage you have available on your phone or how many apps you want to have on your phone. 
This would also actually be a great chance to see if there are some apps you would like to stop using. You can try and also delete those. So I did that for example like I don't know one or two years ago with Snapchat because I had so many other social media apps and I didn't want to be on all of them so I deleted this one and I actually never re-downloaded it again. On the other side I did that with Netflix and I noticed once in a while I like to watch something so I downloaded this one again. But I noticed if I don't have it on my phone I use it less often because it's more effort to download it. So that might also be an interesting chance for you to delete the ones you don't want to use. And then sort through every single app. So some I know you can't really do much, but, but your contacts for example. Go through them and see which ones you don't even remember or ones you don't really use any longer because there are some people you might not have contact any longer to. And I mean you can also still contact them on social media if you after five years all of a sudden need or want to contact them. So don't worry, even if you delete them there and then you figure out you would have actually wanted to call them, we still have social media so we are more connected than we actually think nowadays. Some apps on the other side, they are synchronized anyways to other devices. So you might rather want to go through your mails on your laptop and then as it gets synchronized, you have it sorted through on your phone as well. Same with photos. So choose the device you are more comfortable looking through. So I, for example, on, the, on one side, I go through my mails more likely on my computer, but photos I sort out on my phone. So choose the device you're more comfortable with. Always keep in a good relationship between effort and outcome. So for example, deleting WhatsApp chats is super easy because you just click on all of them and you delete them with once at once. <laughs> but I know from my experience you can't do this within Facebook Messenger. So if you have to delete every single chat and then a new chat pops up from like, I don't know, because you have chat chats from like 10 years ago, maybe you save that time. While you're going through your apps, this would also be a great chance to declutter social media. So you can go through the lists of people you are connected to or the content you follow and see if you know everyone, still know every, everyone, if you um, have a personal relationship or if you really see value added to your life through following that person. So if not, why not sorting through that too and see that you only have the people in there which are important or the content you find interesting. If you feel uncomfortable unfollowing someone or like quitting the friendship because people can maybe see that if they want to search for you, you can also mute those people. Sometimes it's easier to avoid a conflict, up to you. But you can also mute the content, which is basically also decluttering everything you see or every kind of input you get on a daily basis. So what I also personally do, the people I, I like, but I can't see their content all the time, which might be the same for you because I also spam on Instagram, I guess. So um, feel free to just mute those stories. So this basically declutters the input you have to face every single day or you face every single day. If there are any other devices I have not mentioned, but they would be interesting for you, just leave them in the comments below. Otherwise, try to see what they come closest to and then apply the same methods. So after we have decluttered our material and now our digital life, we have such a good base we can build on systems. So this will happen in my next video where we move on to stage 3 of the upside plan. If you don't want to miss this, click on the bell and here we will now make our life so much easier, have maintainable easy systems which give us more time to really focus on the things that matter. But first. Obviously, we have to invest a little bit of time, but it will save us so much time in the long run. So feel free to like, share, comment, and then I hopefully see you in my next video. Thank you for your support.